Please welcome a landholder, Cathy Roach. What a gentleman. Well, I stand before you now with a very different story to tell. I'm sure you've listened very attentively to the facts and the figures of proposed coal mining in the Southern Highlands, of the, coal, the threat of coal seam gas drilling, which is happening in the Southern Islands area, but also throughout the state. This has all been laid quite bare by all the previous speakers, but what we haven't spoken about is what is the personal effect upon the people who live in this country, who live on the land, who are the people who have raised their children on the land. I came to this special place with my husband and five young children 46 years ago. When we settled on our farmland at Southern Forest some 36 years ago, we built our family home, planted hundreds of trees, creating bird and wildlife corridors. We did this with such, such a devotion. We knew that we wanted to create a place that was even more beautiful than it was to start with. We nurtured our trees through all the years of drought. We raised our children with love, the love of the land was theirs right from the very beginning and their special joy was our meandering creek, our Wells Creek. We cared for our creek, which runs the full length of our property. Our property is Aralorn, you may have heard of it. We planted trees to strengthen the banks of our often swollen creek. When we have big rains here, the river, the creek just floods. We were careful to preserve the pastures. When we attended to ploughing the pastures, we always stayed back from the creek because we were very, very sure that we would never pollute this creek. We knew that it was an important part of the water supply which goes on down to Warragamba Dam. Where does it go from Warragamba Dam? It supplies the water to Sydney. And Sydney is growing. Sydney is growing at a very rapid rate and they're needing more water. And here we are trying to destroy an area which is really the nursery of the Warragamba Dam. How sensible is this? It's crazy. It's crazy stuff. We should really be saying our water is so important. What have we been doing, stewing up here in the heat? All drinking water. You people sitting down there in the heat, how you would have loved to have had a glass of water. Water is so important to our life, and we have to believe this. When we have a drought, Sydney has a drought. When we have good rain, Warragamba Dam fills, and Sydney can then start watering their trees and washing their cars again. So what is to become of our precious waterway and the dozens of similar ones in the Southern Highland region? We face irreparable environment damages to our aquifers. You've heard the technicality of how this happens. Water is lost forever once these aquifers are cracked. It drains away. It goes lower and lower into the earth and is no longer available for agriculture. No water for livestock. No water flowing to Sydney. Our creeks have raised up. We've seen pictures of it happening in other areas. The, the creek beds raise up and crack and drain. The water no longer flows, it just drains away. If our elected government allows destructive long wall coal mining on this fertile agricultural land that is the Southern Highlands, we can expect serious permanent damage to our landscape. Serious damage to our homes, and we have many historic homes in this area, I'm sure you're very aware of that. And we love these homes. We're very proud of the fact that our early settlers of 150, 160 years ago established these places. Our lovely old sandstone churches, many of them in the district. Do we want to see these cracked and falling down? No, we don't. On one hand, the government is giving us money to restore them. On the other hand, they're giving licences to these miners who will 
absolutely destroy these historic buildings because once the ground starts to give way with long wall mining, there is no saving the buildings on top. Is this what the government really wants? Do they want profit before people, before people's lifestyle and their actual love of their land? Our environment is for everyone who lives in this area and for the many visitors who come to this area. Our whole economy in this area relies on the rural and on the actual tourism. People who want to come to this beautiful area and we welcome them. We know that they are an important part of our economy. Does this government really want profits before people? We have to keep asking this question over and over. Without doubt, the physical destruction of our beautiful local scenery will change the face of the Highlands forever. Are you willing to let this happen? Are you going to sit back and let this happen? Or will you raise your voices and say to the government, we don't want destruction. We do not want the Southern Highlands to be destroyed just as the people are saying on the Liverpool Plains, just as people are standing up all over Australia, we must be strong. We have to be there to say, we do not want this, we won't allow it. I'm a mother of five children, and I have two of these children, luckily, they're living in the Highlands, so we see quite a lot of their, their six grandchildren, and I have another three children who are living in various parts of Australia, but all of our 13 grandchildren own our property. They just have lived their whole young lives growing up with this property as part of their whole being. They still love to come back, even though some of them now are in their 20s. Where do they come? Back to Nan and Pa on the property. And we want that legacy to continue. We've talked about what will we do with the property when we're getting too old to stay there? And our children say, stay there, Mum and Dad. We want to keep coming back. We'll find people to help you on the property. But you hang in there because that property means so much to us as a family and to our children, your grandchildren. If coal mining is allowed to proceed in this area, the land will change forever. We've heard that after 30 years, they'll back off. And then what are we left with? Craters in the land, cracked buildings, or buildings that are no longer able to be built, lived in, farm buildings that have collapsed. We have creeks that are dry. Who will want to live there? What will happen to this land? Do we have a sense of responsibility to our land, enough responsibility to say, don't let this happen. Don't allow coal mining and coal seam gas in the Southern Highlands. We really need to be passionate about this. Coal miners have not got the same sense of responsibility that we have. Just bear that in mind. All they want is the holy dollar. We're not on about the holy dollars. We're on about what this land means to us. Do we as a nation wish to live in the middle of a huge mine? I think that's about to happen, at least in New South Wales, it's looking that way when we see the maps that are being developed. But it's interesting to see that the first attack from these companies has all been in the fertile, most fertile areas, because these areas just happen to be very close to ports and just happen to be right in the middle where there is good infrastructure. So you, the people, the taxpayers, who paid for this infrastructure to be put into place in the first, first place, you are making it so easy for these miners. So we don't want these miners to take away these things. There are other places that gas can be extracted that is not destructive to the good arable agricultural land that we have. There are other places where coal can be taken out. But we must also be mindful of the fact that other means of, of producing power for our nation are now available. We are actually just strengthening the pockets of these foreign countries. It's minuscule, the amount of money that comes into our government coffers 
or to the landowners is absolutely nothing compared to the profits. And you did hear some of these profits quoted earlier. So I say to you as a people, do we want to eat Australian food? We have the best food in the country. And we can make our whole living out of producing food for other countries because they'll be so busy building more and more factories that we can actually, we are capable of producing this food, but only if our best land is not destroyed. We must ensure that you, the people, are actually heard by government. Speak up, speak out, sign the petition, get your friends to sign the petition. The petition will be appearing at various places all over the Shire. At every event, you'll see people asking for signatures. These signatures are vital. We need that magic 10,000 signatures, which can then go to government and ensure that they know that we, the people of the Southern Highlands, are really prepared to speak out. Every person counts. Don't discard this. This is an opportunity that we now have. This is our land, our water, and our future. And it's up to each and every one of us to respond. Thank you.